Love that sweet soul music. Billboard's Hot 100, September 19th, 1970. Let's go to it right now. To the bottom rungs of Billboard's Hot 100 at number 95. Debuting at number 95, Love Uprising by Otis Leofield. Otis Leofield, not very well known to the general public, but behind the scenes on the soul music scene, he's a bit better, bit uh, more better known. Uh, he, he's from Georgia, but he grew up in the west side of Chicago. His dad was a preacher, and uh, Otis Leofield, his real name was Otis Cobb, he started out singing in his family's gospel group. It was called the gospel, it's called the, it was, the gospel group was called the Cobb Quartet. When he was a teenager, he indulged in some amateur boxing with his friend, Major Lance. Otis Leofield recorded his first record in 1963. It was called Rise, Sally, Rise, written by Curtis Mayfield, recorded on a small record label. About a year later, he had his first hit record. Uh, excuse me, his first R&B hit, Let Her Love Me. It was produced by Major Lance, backed up by The Impressions. Went to number 31 on R&B, and uh, a little bit later on, uh, Otis Leofield, he teamed up with a producer named, his name was Carl Davis. And uh, this was with the record company, a couple of record companies, the OK, OK, OKEH, and the Burnswick, the Burnswick record label in Chicago. And Otis Leofield, he's credited, and don't quote me on this, but research indicates that he's credited with discovering the Shy Lights, Tyrone Davis, possibly Shaka Khan. 1968-1969, Carl Davis formed a record label. It's called the Dakar Record Label. And Otis Leofield, he came, ab he came aboard this record label as a vice president. He recorded on this label, too. Had his biggest R&B hit, I Love You, in 1969. Guess who wrote that? Eugene Record. Eugene Record of the Shy Lights, the leader of the Shy Lights. The guy, Eugene Record from Chicago, he wrote, have you seen her? He wrote, uh, uh, Oh Girl. He wrote that with uh, Barbara Acklin. As a matter of fact, Eugene Record and Barbara Acklin, they backed up uh, Leofield on the record, I Love You. And on this record, Love Uprising, also written by Eugene Record. He wrote this as well. It comes in at number 95 on Billboard's Hot 100. It peaked at number 72. God, it's a great lost R&B record. Man, don't you just love that sweet soul music? Sweeter than molasses, baby. Mint, mint juleps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Otis Leofield. I believe I pronounced his last name correctly. I'm not sure. It's L E L E A V I L L. It, th this song was on Billboard's Hot 100 for about three weeks. No, seven weeks. Almost two months. Otis Leofield, or Leafield, with Love Uprising. Billboard's Hot 100, September 19th, 1970. 